I'm here with Kyle Park, who's a manager uh, with the IT group at KT Telecom in Korea. Uh, Kyle, you've been here at uh, Management World Africa doing a presentation about your deployments of WiMAX in Korea. Could you tell us a bit more about your presentation and what you were covering? Uh, my presentation uh, basically uh, regards the uh, technical side of this uh, state-of-the-art uh, whitelisted service. Uh, that includes the uh, network topology as well as IT architecture behind the scene. And also the, it's talking about the product catalog, what type of products we're uh, providing to the uh, customers in Korea. And finally we touched upon the Angus compliance, how we adopted the TM forum Angus and, and tried to kind of digest the insight internally and so that we can provide a better and expedite the service to the wireless uh, customers back in Korea. Well, I want to come back to that in a moment, but I'd like to know about uh, KT Telecom's ideas or um, plans to roll out WiMAX networks, perhaps in the African market. Are you working in that area? Oh, that's obviously it's a huge opportunity for KT to uh, try. Uh, uh, since we launched our commercial, uh, the evaluation, uh, excuse me, the service back in 2006, since then the, our uh, subscriber growth has been gradually increased. So at the end of June, we just increased the uh, 200,000 subscribers, which is quite meaningful because uh, the Korean wireless market is highly saturated. And also in African continent, because it's a geographically challenging continent. So well, we decided the wireless is the way to go, is the answer for the continent. So we're trying to uh, look forward to uh, the opportunities that we can have in this African context. Now, KT has also been a great proponent and, and uh, very helpful in contributing towards the processes that TM Forum has been developing over the years, particularly the NGOS models. Uh, could you tell me more about that and your involvement and how they've helped uh, KT in the WiMAX uh, deployments? Okay, uh, my personal involvement for the TM Forum or uh, the uh, standard uh, efforts is of I've, I've closely worked with the uh, uh, SEED, SID, uh, uh, team mates as well as the team leader uh, such as a uh, uh, John uh, Riley. John Riley, that's right. Thanks yeah. for me, that, John Riley. And also, so I have worked on the uh, seed part as well as uh, the e term part, which my colleagues covered. And so, uh, those are the parts we uh, worked on the TM Forum Angus standards. And back in KT Inside, we adapted to those uh, kind of uh, core framework that, that Angus provides, such as e term, seed, TNA and also TAM, and so we regularly uh, approach those uh, uh, standards and then uh, it uh, greatly impacted to, for us to develop in-house KT OSS system, namely uh, KT NEOS. So we've been grateful to see and try those international uh, de facto standards within the KT uh, context. Kyle Park, thanks for coming all this way and being our guest today. Carl Park from KT Telecom, thank you. Oh, thank you very much.